Hello again, welcome back to Newby House. Um, right, the stage we're at now, uh, I've sanded it down using, uh, I started off with, uh, as I said before, uh, P120. Um, hand sanded it, went on to 240, and finally, to finish it off, we've used 150, that's garnet paper. Uh, and while sanding it, I've also used the 150 only on the, on the brass work. It's important that the brass work, you do, with the brass work, you don't take all this distressing out because it's got, it is an antique and it's got to look as though it's being used. And these are all the uh, injuries it's picked up over the years. Obviously, uh, any damage, any bad damage, we have to attend to. Uh, namely, um, this part on the back edge that we're going to fill. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, body filler that you would normally use on a car. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit of colour with it just to take the, the grey off. So we'll just mix that up. It doesn't have to be the same as the, uh, the finished colour of the piece, as long as we've got some background to work on, but we'll talk about that later. There we have a bit of a background colour. These are just earth colours. Used to use lead colours, but stopped us using those now for obvious reasons. Right. And obviously, uh, you've got to overfill it. You can take two or even three applications. tend to have a bit of a line of its own where it's going. Gravity takes over, I'm afraid. That's why you're going to have to let that dry, sand it down, and then we'll give it another application. Also, we need to, to look for other damage that we think isn't really necessary to leave on. We've got a quite a bad, quite a bad gouge here, so we'll fill that in. Don't be frightened to go over. You're going to sandpaper it all off again. Now here, quite an interesting part. This is where it's been badly damaged, uh, and uh, a carpenter uh, has uh, has put a new piece of wood in there. See, so there's been another damage, more damage over here in its lifetime where it's been split away but I've managed to save that one because that's the original piece we don't want little bits like that we'll fill that as well another interesting thing I have, what I've done is just get rid of that is to there again we don't want it to look brand new you see all these little tiny screws they're all brass so the chunk chunker you're going to have to fill. Um, there again, they don't want to look brand new, but they don't want to look as though they've been left either. Looking dirty and disheveled. So I've actually unscrewed each one of those uh, and just finally sandpapered the tops off, still making them look the rage, but making them noticeable. We'll just fill that back in here. And then if you join me next time, uh, when we sand it off. Thank you. Hi. Right, where are we now? Um, all looking nice and clean. All the screws have been uh, taken out, cleaned up. We've managed to, uh, after three various different applications, we finally got this, uh, this, this bad one filled up. And we've uh, cleaned the brass up, sanded it down, and uh, finished off the the, the, the the brass and the rivets with, uh, with some silver fleece, very fine steel wool. Keep 
you notice on the uh, the ends of the uh, the prop, where over the years they've been, uh, they've obviously had accidents and they've been filled in with uh, with some white metal, possibly uh, solder, just to keep them nice and clean. So what I'm going to do now is um, obviously two sides to this. So we'll do to the underside first, but I need to clean clean out the whole drain. And obviously it's going to be laminated and parts of it veneered, like on this boss, it's, um, it's a little bit like Jacob's coat of many colours, so what I thought is we'll give it a, a stain, a water stain. If you water stain, if you're not happy with it, you can at least wash it down to a lighter colour where just spirit stains, naphtha stains, uh, they do tend to uh, be very difficult to alter if you're not completely happy with them as when it's on it's on. So I've prepared a stain, a mahogany stain. I'll do the underside first. Seems nice. The other thing with water stain is uh, there again, if you're not happy with it, not only can you wash it down a little bit lighter, you can also give it a second coat and it does go darker rather than just wash off uh, the stain that you've already, already put on, a spirit stain tends to. As you see, it doesn't affect the grass, it's nicely into the grain. This is the underside, at some time it's had uh, quite a bad oil spill on it which has permeated right into it but this is the back side of it which isn't going to be seen when it's actually on the wall anyway Just this stain as well. I've actually used a little bit of black stain and a bit of red mahogany stain. If we wanted it a little bit redder, we can do so. If we want it a little bit browner, we can also put a little bit more black in. But I think that's fine. And as you see, the fairing edge there seems to be a bit better now. As you see, the colours are starting to blend in a little bit better. So it doesn't stain the grass. Painstakingly trying to clean up. Very little sanding on this part here on the boss because we didn't want to. Uh, explained in the first place to those uh, numbers make them any shallower than they already are and when we lacquer this by the way we shall be going all over the brass as well
as I was start anyway, looking a little bit better. Now when we come back, uh, we're going to sealing coat on and adjust some of these uh, various different colours. Okay.